Hello. I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. My name's Nathaniel Curry, and I was the Activities Director of VentureQuest 2014. I sadly won't be there for 2015, but hashtag still go again anyway. Well, I really don't have a whole lot to talk about, so I'm going to send you over to Max Grusha talking about climbing. So, Max, how'd you like VentureQuest this year? It was fun. What'd you do? Um, we started up out at Camp Geiger, and we climbed on the big climbing tower for a couple days. We got to do all of the high rope stuff, uh, climb on the rock walls, do a bunch of different activities around there. Um, and then uh, on Tuesday, we took a bus or a van down to Arkansas, where we got to climb on some live rock walls. Probably being able to experience live rock for the first time. Uh, always been on rock walls and not actual cliffs, so that was fun. Being able to not only uh, participate in the challenge, but also learning how to set it, <coughs> set it up a little bit. Uh, learning how to anchor off the ropes at the top of the cliff. And it was just a whole new challenge from the normal rock walls. That was refreshing, wasn't it? Not really. But we'll, go, we'll send you over to something that is. How about Chase and Haley talking about scuba? Okay, um, uh, this is Haley Hicks, I'm Chase Hicks. We did scuba diving at VentureQuest. It's a lot of fun, I hope everybody goes. Uh, for the first part of VentureQuest, we were out at Camp Geiger. That is where you get all of your, you know, things you have to do before you can get your certification, like your five dives in a closed area. So we got a dive in the pool, then we got our snorkeling, so we actually earned our snorkeling, so we can go, before that, we could have gone and went snorkeling anywhere we wanted, as long as it was to a certain depth that we could go. But out of Geiger, you get, you learn about it, you take a couple tests. Um, all you do basically is get everything situated so that whenever you get down to Arkansas, all you have to do is have a lot of fun, and that's exactly what we did down there. That's exactly what you'll do if you go. Um, when you do get down to the Arkansas part, you'll do your four open water dives to get your official open water scuba, scuba certification. And it's really a lot of fun. You do different dives at different times and you'll do a couple dives right after each other. It's a lot of fun. You dive in Beaver Lake. The water's pretty good depending on the sun, depends on the temperature. And once you hit the thermocline though, which is where the water temperature kind of breaks, it can get pretty chilly, but you've got your wetsuit on, so. Come sail away with me. Or you can just listen to what Ben Wardle has to say about kayaking Venture Quest 2014. Hey, I'm Ben Wardle. And I went on 2014 Venture Quest, as you can see on the shirt. And I took kayaking. It was really fun. I, I would suggest it for anyone who wants to come along. But the first day we were there, the first day we learned about boating safety. That, that took a while. It took about we were full... It was about a couple hours in, at night, and then a couple in the morning, too. It wasn't exactly fun, but we started to get along with each other, make wisecracks, and we slowly started becoming friends. And then after we got our boating license, it was well worth it. And then after that, we decided to go up to the pool, up at Geiger, to practice boat uh, water exits. Those are probably the funnest things you'll ever do in the kayak. After we got done, we went down to the lake to get some practice in rowing, in canoeing, kayaking, you know, kayaks or park canoe. And we went along and we were practicing strokes, making wise tracks, becoming closer as friends in a group. And we did that for a couple of days to make sure we had everything down. And then we, well, we learned to tie knots to make sure that the kayaks were totally pinned down and A-OK. -okay. And then, then we left for Arkansas. So our first day on the water was really fun. We had we didn't have a lot of water though. That was one of the main points that was disappointing. But it was really fun because when we got to the uh, slopes of the river, Buffalo River by the way, which is very beautiful, it was just filled with slopes that we all just sped through some rafts, not a lot of pools, which are stagnant areas of water where it's really hard to paddle through. Otherwise, it had beautiful scenery with great cliffs, some animals. We even saw a few uh, eagles, too. That was really cool. Fun. We stopped for lunch on this small bank area and kept on going down the river, past these great cliffs on our left and on our right, underneath these caverns. 
not really caverns, more like overhangs that somewhat overhang the Buffalo River. And we moved on, and it started to get really gray and cloudy. About a two, two and a half mile journey that took us about about four to five hours to finish. Cause there wasn't a lot of water there, so we had to paddle through a lot. It, um, and then we met Dennis Draper. He was our pickup guy who brought us to and from our goals. Fine. On the next day, we uh, we packed our own lunch again, and we went off. But we got some rain la the night before, so it should have been really good. Not but some water was added, which made a lot more pools and a little less rapids. So it wasn't quite as high-speed adventure as we wanted it to be, more paddling through the scenery, which was still okay by my standards. And then on this day, we came across a cave. This cave was magical. It was beautiful. It was a hole in the wall. But we wanted to explore it anyway. We thought it was just empty. Dustin Wetzel decides, oh, hey, that looks like fun. I'm going to go in there. Ellis Covington, one of the guys from Texas who came to Adventure Quest with us, decided to go in there too. Continued on on our kayaking adventure, and it started to get a little bit sunnier out. So we decided to make a um, stop for lunch. Our journey, this one was about seven miles. Hi, and we're back. But I don't really have a whole lot to say, so I'm going to send you right over to... Uh... I think it's going to be Dawson Moore talking about his wilderness first aid and survival experience. Wilderness survival and remote first aid activity. Well, we spent a lot of time getting certified with CPR, um, and once we got that done, we went and did our remote first aid. So we did lots of time out in the woods working to see what, I, what scenarios we could do out there and work through them. Did you have a fun time? Yeah. It's the greatest week of summer. <laughs> was it worth it? Yep. It Definitely. was worth it. Would you go back? Definitely. Every year that I can. And now for my favorite and best color. Yellow! Thanks for coming back. I'm still Nathaniel, and I'm going to send you to Rob. He's going to tell you about the Great War that divided the North and South. So, here, I'm to talk to you about Pea Ridge Battle Site. We went inside the uh, building, who offered us a uh, gift shop and a movie theater and some things to look at. Uh, we luckily got there at the time the movie was about to start. Uh, we sat down, watched some history about the battlefield and the people who were in the battle. Uh, after that short video, we uh, got out and walked the trail of the Pea Ridge battle site, got to see some of the uh, forest that was a part of the battle site and some buildings that were also part of the battle site. Um, we eventually made it to the Elkhorn Tavern. And inside the tavern, there was a man dressed in Civil War-esque regalia. He uh, gave us a tour of the house and some of the supplies that were used during the war, uh, such as medical supplies and um, household items that were of that era. Pea Ridge was a very exciting Civil War battlefield that I'd love to go back to again and uh, see for a little bit longer. Everybody who would be willing to go to Venture Quest to come again, it was an exciting experience, and I'm definitely going next year. Hashtag VentureQuest2015. Yeah, I actually have absolutely nothing to say anymore. So Max is going to talk about what we did kind of after hours, after all of our activities we were done. Went to a nature center towards the end, got to hike around a little bit. Uh, what other activities did you enjoy? Um, when we had some free time, we were able to play board games and stuff back at the campsite or motel thing we stayed at and uh, have fun with everybody that was there. Night chews the Cracker Barrels or you just gotta come and hang out and have fun with everybody or you aren't restricted to the people in your group you can talk with everybody and just have fun. We played water pong and uh, you just gotta eat good food like the funnel cakes we just, we just gotta hang out and have fun. Here in Arkansas, we uh, we gotta hang out some. We gotta play a bunch of card games, um, play games, just talk. How'd you like all the staff there this year? Um, 
Staff's pretty fun. Uh, we got along with all of them. They all pretty much just participated with us, had fun with it. Did you enjoy the camp food? Yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, probably the biggest difference between Mental Quest and Geiger um, is you get to go more in depth into a specific activity. You get to come out, have fun, meet new people. Uh, it's a great, there's a lot of great people that you get to meet, uh, new friends to make, new experiences, new activities. I think everyone should come and do Metro Quest. Thank you very much for your time. We had an awesome adventure this summer, and we'd really like it if you came along with us next summer. So VentureQuest 2015.